Okay, so today we're going to look at all the different ways that you can uninstall an app on your Google Android TV running Android version 12. Or if you've got one of these Watch ONN 4K Pro boxes that applies to. Stick around, all the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, I've got a Google TV running Android version 12, and this guide is gonna show you how you can remove apps that you have installed on it. So as you can see here, I've got this line just under top picks for you called your app. So I go down to it and I just find the app that I want to remove. So say if I wanted to remove Downloader. Okay, now if I've downloaded this from the Play Store, we should be able to remove it from here just by highlighting it and hold down the middle button on the remote control until you see this come up. Once you see this, let go of the middle button on the remote control, go down to view details, press the middle button once, and then here you've got two options, open the app or uninstall it. So go across to the right, the right hand side of the ring on your remote, highlight uninstall so it's highlighted in white, middle button on the remote control and then here it says do you want to uninstall this app if you're okay with that press the middle button again if you're not go across to the left and cancel after you've hit the middle button the uninstall disappears the open disappears and that is replaced by install but what if you try that and you highlight an app hold down the middle button and you don't have view details, what if you've just got move or open, then quite possibly that means you've side loaded the app. So you haven't got the option to view the details. And that means you haven't also got the option to remove it from this screen. So what do you do in this situation? Well, let's go back to the main home screen and go right up to the top and then go across to the cog just in the top right hand corner, middle button on the remote control, go down to apps, and again, middle button on the remote. And then what you want to do is you want to find the app that you want to remove in this list. Now, if you can't see it in this list here, you have got an option there that says see all apps. So middle button on the remote control. And there you go. That shows you other apps. So say if I wanted to remove this TV bro TV web browser that I've installed, then highlight it, go across and then down to uninstall, middle button on the remote control and then middle button again and that should uninstall it. But what if in the case of some of these apps, there's no uninstall there, all you've got is uninstall updates. Like for instance, YouTube, I mean, YouTube Music doesn't even have an uninstall on there, it's just got to disable. Well, unfortunately, you can't uninstall these. These apps have been specifically put on the device to be left on there. In the case of Netflix, you just can't seem to uninstall it on this device. You've got, again, uninstall updates or disable. So the best thing you can do is just go to uninstall updates and then OK that. And then once you've uninstalled the updates, just go to disable, middle button on the remote control, OK and then that will disable Netflix. And hopefully if I go back to the main screen now, the Netflix icon disappears and that's as good as removing it. It doesn't clear up all the space, but as long as you've uninstalled any updates, that's only taking up absolute minimal space now. Now, what if you wanna get an app back that you've disabled? Like for instance, they are just disabled. Netflix is gone, okay? And if I go back to the apps list, I'll go to the cog in the top right-hand corner, middle button, go down to apps there, middle button, and as you can see, it's not there. If I go to see all apps, it's disappeared. It's disappeared from that list. Well, not so. Go right to the very bottom of the list. And there you go. Under a section at the bottom there marked disabled apps, you've got all the apps that you've disabled. So if you want to re-enable that, just highlight it, middle button, go down to enable, middle button. And it says, do you want to enable this app? So middle button. Netflix, if I go back, should now have appeared in there. And if I go back to the main home screen, it's been re-added, but it's right at the very end of the list. Now, if you do want to reorder any of these apps, then 
you've got a button there called reorder just right at the very end of your app. So middle button on the remote control and it says here press to move. So middle button again and then just use the left and right ring of the remote control to gauge where you want to put it. Once you've got it to where you want it to be, middle button on the remote control and then go down to done and then middle button again. Now, what if you want to install more apps? There's a couple of ways you can do this. Then you can go up to apps just up there and you can go down to search for apps and games and just search for an app or you can have a look. You can browse through the featured apps just down there or you can use your remote control. You can just press and hold the microphone on it or say the magic word followed by Google and just ask for an app. So let's just do that. Paramount Plus. Results for Paramount Plus on the apps tab. And there we go. So we've got Paramount Plus there. I highlight it, middle button and then middle button again to install. It shouldn't take too long to install it and it's just finished downloading. Now it's actually installing and there we are it's now installed. We can see that because it says it in the top right hand corner. And also it says you'll now get recommendations for shows and movies. We can change that if we want to. I'll do another video on that on another day. So we've got two options there, open or uninstall, or we can just press the home button on the remote, go back to the main screen and there you should see it has been added to the end of your apps. So how else can we add apps? So all we do is we can go down to our Your Apps bar, go along to the right, right to the end, and there you go. There's an option there called Add Apps. Highlight that middle button, and here that will take you in actual fact up to the Apps bar just up the top there. And as you'll see here again, you've got categories, entertainment, music and audio, video players and editors, tools, lifestyle, sports, news, magazines, productivity, education, health and fitness, communication and business. So you can have a look through here and find the app that you want to install. Or as I say, you can search for it either by your voice or you can search for it up in that bar up there just by literally typing the app just there. So if I'm going to search for Paramount Plus again, let's just, I'm going to just type part of the, uh, the app name. So once I've typed half of it or part of it, I'm just going to go down to the magnifying glass in the bottom right hand corner of the keyboard, middle button, and there you go, it's found it again. So I can just highlight it, middle button, middle button again, and just let it install. So another way I can install the apps is I can either go across to apps at the top there, or I can go to the apps bar in your apps and go along right, or I can go to the your apps bar from the home screen and go right along and go to add apps. And like I say, I can search for apps just in here and I can just highlight the app I want to install, middle button and middle button again, and that will start installing the app. So there you go. There are various ways there that you can uninstall and install apps. You can also manage them on your home screen as well. I hope you like this video and I hope you found it useful. If you did, consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel. Or if you can't do that, have a look in the description down below. Down there is my Amazon shop. There's also links to Fire TV sticks, Fire TV cubes, Fire Stick accessories and VPNs. Buying, subscribing and donating really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to spend more time researching to bring you these great videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you and maybe even save you some time and money. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel and whilst you're looking through these videos, if you see anything you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like to see, then please don't forget to share these videos on your social media timelines. Check me out on X. I'm at CWTEK. Also check out my website. It's CWTEK.co.uk. Thanks for watching and speak to you again soon.